Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video is going to be quick because I just got home and I'm just going to be explaining why I was gone and what happened to me. I was really, really sick, like really sick. I don't think I've ever felt that way in my life and I've been sick before, but like nothing like that. Um, also, I wanted to say that there will be a try on haul coming on Tuesday. So just hang on for that. <laughs> But, okay, so this is what happened. On So my baby cousin you guys saw was visiting and he was sick, but they thought it was allergies. Ended up, he ended up being sick. So he leaves and obviously I'm like all over the baby the whole time. So he leaves on Saturday. Sunday I felt tired, but I was like, maybe I'm just tired because I was like running around with the baby all weekend. And then um, Monday came and I felt like a little bit of a sore throat, but I didn't think anything of it. So I was like, maybe I just slept with my mouth open. <laughs> Tuesday, I went with my normal day. I ended up not working out because I didn't feel 100%. So I was like, let me just give myself like a day. And I knew I had to fly to LA a week from then. So I was like very anxious. So I was like, started feeling a little bit like sick again at night, but I was like, whatever. Wednesday came, I woke up, I was like, okay, okay, feel good. And I ended up working out, which was a mistake. I went, I worked out, and then I felt like ass after. Then I get home and I have like the chills. Like I'm sweating, then I'm freezing, then I'm sweating. My throat was hurting right here in the middle of my head. It was just like a pounding headache. That That's how it started like on Monday and Tuesday. Like my head was just killing me, but I was like, whatever, like I just have a headache. But it was like right here and it felt like someone was like flipping you upside down and i wasn't sleeping those past couple of days either because there was just like i couldn't sleep there was just so much happening at one time and then um thursday comes and i'm like worse than wednesday and now at this point i have like a fever like i am going through it right so then friday comes around and my neighbor thank you sherry she is a PA so she came and checked up on me and she was like yeah you need to get on a Z pack so I got on a Z pack and it was a five day Z pack so that was on Friday now mind you I have to leave Thursday to LA for something really important so I'm like I need to get better like I don't know what to do but I need to get better Friday comes I take the Z pack I have a fever headache chills sore throat all like anything you can think of is kicking my ass then saturday comes around same thing like so bad like i felt like i had the cov word three times and nothing compared to this like what i had this time like i actually ended up having strep throat but i've never had strep throat and i feel like only Babies get strep throat. I feel, mom, people like I feel like adults don't get strep throat. You never had it. Never had it. But this literally kicked my freaking ass. Like I was down bad. Right now, on top of that, it wasn't just strep throat because, of course, it can't just be one thing. So. And on top of that, your baby. Yes, we'll get to that. So. Now it's Saturday, right? And I'm going through it. Like I'm at the highest peak of like this sickness, right? So whatever, I'm like have wet rags on my head. I'm like dripping profusely on the floor. Like just, it was bad. I had a really high fever and I was scared. Like I get really, really scared if I'm sick. I do not do well with sicknesses. You guys know this. So then Sunday comes and I'm like, okay, like, Please, like, please let me get better, right? So, su it's Sunday night. So then I felt better. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, I feel better. Like, it's, it's coming around. Like, we got this. And Sunday night comes, and I go to lay down, and I'm just reckless as can be. Now, mind you, the beginning of the week, my eye started feeling really weird. Like, I couldn't open it all the way, and there was, like, stuff coming out of it, and all right here was, like, super sore all right here was like super sore like just this side of my face and i was like what is going on it was like freaking me out but i like, wasn't really paying too much attention and every time i would lay down just this side of my face would like burn up with the heat like like literally so hot it would make my fever get higher 
So I had gotten my tragus pierced right here a few months ago and I never went to get the back change because when I went to go back, they were like, it's still not healed yet, like you need to wait. So I think it obviously got infected. So that was like sparking my fever higher and like my face and my eye. Yeah, but that was like a week before that. So it was like all this stuff, right? So Monday morning, I'm like, this earring needs to come out of my freaking ear. Like I'm cursing. I'm like, I'm like at this point, I'm at my, like, my breaking point. So finally, I just, my dad drives me to go to get my earring out of my ear because it wasn't, it was one like you have to get like literally removed. So they remove it. I get in the back of the car and I'm going through it, right? Then I have an appointment at the doctor's office now. So when you have a fear of something, like you like are scared, right? Like, and I have a fear of doctors and doctors offices. Like, it's just my fear. Like, I don't know, sorry. Like, I don't know what to tell you. There's people scared of spiders. Like, this is my fear. I second I get into the doctor's office, I start hyperventilating. Like, I literally like can't breathe. Like, I can't catch my breath. Like, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Like, I don't know what's going on with me. They take like my uh temperature like you have a fever i'm like i know then they take the pressure on my finger like to see my heart rate and it's at like 90 something they're like okay we're taking it off like i was like i'm sorry i'm really scared of doctors finally get into the room doctor sees me and he's like all right like you know whatever like finish the z-pack or whatever i had like one day left so this is monday right mind you i have now three days to get it together till I leave to LA so and I can't miss this LA trip like it was for a shoot that was very important like they had paid for my hotel my flight like I couldn't like back out you know so all my friends are sending me all these home remedies bless you all these home remedies from their like cultures that I'm drinking this weird tea and this thing and I'm trying everything I can so that's Monday I drink all these teas and everything and I'm like finally get to calm down then Tuesday comes and I'm feeling good I'm like okay I feel I feel so much better I feel like a new person so then that was the last day of my z-pack too so I was like okay let's finish this bitch up let's get it together mind you I'm still like Tuesday was the last day I had a fever that was like the last day of it so i'm like still sweating profusely and just like freezing cold and then sweating and then freezing cold still being, still being a baby because i'm still sick wednesday comes around and i'm like oh and finally tuesday no monday and tuesday was the first two nights that i slept like the whole night before that i was like tossing and turning and like sweating and then cold and then oh my god it was so bad so then i finally come to Wednesday now it's the day before I have to leave like at like 5 in the morning like on Thursday so I had to get it together so then I'm feeling good I just have like a sweat attack in the middle of the day and then oh mom when did we go to Target uh, Tuesday right so no no it was Tuesday so Tuesday my mom's like you need fresh air like you get out of the house because I was not leaving the house so I was like all right you know what you're right so she's like yeah she's like throw the mask on like go to, let's go to Target so I was like I don't know Target's fresh air but okay so we go to Target the second the second we walk into Target I have another one of these sweat attacks so I run to the freezer section, I grab the Gatorade, and I'm just standing in the freezer section, like, trying to cool off. <laughs> I couldn't cool off. Like, I, and then I started freaking out, because I'm like, I'm going to faint. Like, I'm, like I'm, I felt like I was literally dying. So then, finally, we get back to the house, and then I was, like, pretty good after that. Wednesday, I, like, drank another one of these, like, teas that Karen told me to drink. Allie's telling me all these different things. Alyssa, she's telling me all these different things to do. So finally, Wednesday, I have like a full day of like being good. The only thing that I felt was like I had no appetite still. So Wednesday, come, I was like only able to eat like really weird things that I was craving, but I would only eat like the smallest amount of it and then that was it. So 
Then I'm like, okay, you know what? I need to get to sleep and I need to just try to sleep really good tonight. So then that way, Thursday, because I was leaving, would be fine. So I sleep, get up to the, go to the airport. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling okay. I like got a tea. I was like, good. The second I get on the plane, I start feeling like nauseous again. And mind you, we had such bad turbulence on this flight. Like this flight, it was like so bad. There was so much turbulence. So, and my dad wasn't sitting next to me. So he asked the girl next to him, like if she would switch with me. So I, she, thankfully this girl, Angel, thank you for switching with me. I go and I sit next to my dad and I fall asleep. And I'm like, okay, I woke up and I was like feeling good. Then I'm like, okay, I'm here in LA. Like, let's get it together. So we ate food and I was able to eat a little bit. I had um, more tea and I'm just trying to like, you know, get good. Finally, like midday, probably around, yeah, like one, like around 12, one o'clock, I started feeling really good. Like back to nor my normal self. I had like energy and I was like feeling good. So I was like that the whole rest of the trip. And then I, now today I'm already back home. I was there for a day, but I feel back to normal, was able to eat, sleep, everything. So it was, I'm better now, but guys, oh my gosh. Like I, on top of being a baby when I'm sick, I, it kicked my ass. Like I was really going through it. Right mom? Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, like I, no, but this is the thing. I, I've i never felt that way before. So it scared me because I wasn't getting better. Like I was getting worse. No, when I had the COV word, I wasn't even that bad. I, when I had that, I was down bad, but like I knew what to kind of expect and it didn't really like affect me too much. I think it was more mentally, but and then the second and third time I had it, the second time I had it, I was fine. The third time I had it, it kicked my ass a bit, but it was just really for like two days and then I was like fine. But this was like a full like week and a half of me just straight up feeling like death. Like, and I've never, ever, ever felt that way. So on top of being like a person scared of being sick, it just like it heightened it because I was like, I've never felt this way before. Like what is going on and i wasn't getting better like every day i was like just praying to like get better and then finally like after that taking the z-pack and like calming down and like the doctor telling me like you're gonna be fine like you're just like you need to just let it pass it was good but the main thing that like helped me feel so much better was taking that earring out of my ear like guys please be careful with piercings like this thing was spiking my fever. My eye was gooing. I had I could barely open my eye. Like two days ago was the first day that I was able to like open my eye fully. Like it was like so bad. The entire side of my face was just burning hot. Like it would just start flaming. Like I couldn't even lay down. It was horrible. But really be careful and like clean your piercings. Like make sure you go somewhere that like is safe. And if like it's really bothering you, make sure you take it out. Like go somewhere professionally to get the piercing removed because it is not fun. But that is what happened to me. That is why I was gone for so long. And I'm really sorry. I've been, the only thing I was thinking about was filming. And I was like, I just want to film, but um, I literally couldn't. Like I couldn't even stomach to like even look at like a camera or anything. Like I couldn't even move. Like I was literally on the couch for like days. But back on schedule, there'll be a video on Tuesday and I'm going to try and do three videos this week just because I know I was absent. So I'm going to try and get um, a little bit more for you guys. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed my story time <laughs> of me being really sick. Um, be careful out there, guys. Like I'm pretty healthy and I take my vitamins and stuff and I still got sick, really can't avoid it but just make sure you listen to your body when you don't feel good don't go work out and be stupid like i was but and go to the doctor if you don't feel good as scary as it is especially like someone like me like it's just better peace of mind to know what's going on with you than to not know so 
yeah, but back on schedule. We're good to go now. I'm really excited to just go back to the gym too. I haven't been to the gym in over a week and I'm like dying because last week would have been my last week of 75 hard. So I had to push it back. But after this week, I'm done with that and I'm just going to try, try to continue it. Just like change up a little things here and there. But yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video and hopefully you don't mind this one being just me talking. But I will see you guys soon. Have a great day and a blessed Osu day, guys.